I'm a full-time content creator and I run a small social media marketing agency all out of this little home office on wheels. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I work from the road so that I can make a living while I travel. And I'm gonna offer a few suggestions about how you can start making money from the road too in case you're also interested in pursuing this kind of lifestyle. So let's get into it. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Katie and like I was saying, I create content and I run my business from this van, part-time at least. I do have a little apartment that I plan on going back to, so the van life thing isn't full-time forever, but at least for the past couple weeks, I've been experiencing what full-time van life has to offer. And a few of you in the comments have been curious what it's like actually working and running a business and creating content for the internet from such a small and mobile space. So in this video, I'm gonna show you. The first step in getting ready for our workday is converting our bed into our office slash dining room slash living room. It only takes a few minutes each morning and it really opens up the space and gives us a lot more flexibility than having a fixed bed. In our office area, we have a wide table that we can position two different ways so that we can make things convenient for two of us working in the same space because I do live in this van with my partner Dan. Plus we've got a whole bunch of plugs so we can make sure that our laptops are always charged. And we've got this fancy little device called a WeBoost which basically is just a cell signal booster. So we work pretty much entirely off of unlimited data plans on our phones and the WeBoost can help in areas where the cell signal is a little weaker, it can take you up from like two bars to maybe like three or four bars. So that can help with your internet speeds. And of course, when we're lucky, we work from the free Wi-Fi that we find, like if we're parked at a Starbucks, for instance. Now that we're in work mode, I thought I'd talk you through a couple of the ways that I make money on the road. Now, admittedly, these ways are not any different than the ways that I make money at home because I run a fully remote business. So my business is called Creatorly Media and it's a social media content creation agency. So we produce podcasts, YouTube channels, create Instagram content for influencers and small business owners. And I've been doing this as a fully remote operation since 2020. And in addition to that, my other main income stream is being a content creator here on YouTube and on Instagram and all these other platforms. And and of course that is also completely remote. So I just wanted to mention that to say that your way of making money on the road doesn't have to be that unusual. It's just like any other like work from home remote type of thing, except for your home is in a van. So my primary income is always my business, Creatorly Media, but then in addition to that, I also have my content creator revenue sources, which include brand deals, AdSense, affiliate marketing, all that jazz. But you don't have to be an entrepreneur or a content creator to be able to make a living while you travel. And actually one great way of making income on the road comes from the sponsor of today's video, Cambly. Cambly is an English learning platform for students from over 190 countries. And their mission is to bring high quality English education to learners around the world. And you can become a tutor with Cambly today and start working from anywhere. You can literally do this job from anywhere in the world and there are no schedule commitments. So you have ultimate flexibility in both your time and your location. You can teach when you want and for as long as you want to. When Cambly reached out, I was super excited about partnering because I thought this would be a great opportunity for someone who is looking for the ultimate flexibility in their time and location to be able to travel, whether that's in a van or even if you're just trying out different cities, like just staying in different short-term rentals in different places. I think this is a really great way to have some income coming in while you're exploring. And especially if you're interested in travel, I think this is a great fit because you get the opportunity to connect with people from all over the world and learn about different cultures. Plus, you don't need to worry about preparing lessons or putting together any materials because Cambly's got you covered on that. All you have to do is log in and then work through the lessons with your student. This is a perfect opportunity for somebody wanting to get started with remote work that is flexible, connect with people from around the world, and be able to get out there and work from wherever you want. All you need to do to get started is fill out a super quick application, which I've linked in the description, and then you'll be on your way to making money on the road. So sign up to become a tutor with Cambly today and make sure that you mention that Katie Steckley sent you in your application for a little priority consideration. 
So go check that out. And thanks again to Cambly for sponsoring this video. So I wanted to just talk for a second about how I built up to this point in my business because I feel like a lot of you might be doing research online about like starting an online business or working online so that you can be remote and it all just seems so overwhelming like you know running a marketing agency is not something that you just start overnight or even becoming a content creator so I kind of wanted to talk you through my journey to getting where I am now and building up all these different income streams so you know it takes time you don't have to get this all figured out in one day so I started out on YouTube like 10 years ago, it was just a hobby for the longest time. But then once I was in university and I started doing internships, I started to realize that being a content creator is probably what I wanted to do. And by this time throughout my YouTube journey, the words content creator and influencer had been invented and they became jobs. So I kind of saw that it was possible. But of course you can't just grow to be a full-time creator overnight. So in the meantime, I started doing freelance videography. So I took my YouTube skills and started monetizing them in a way that you might not always think of. And that's getting other people to pay you to make essentially YouTube videos for them, but they were more like promotional or marketing videos, but I was using my YouTube skills. So I did that for a while. And then eventually people started to ask me more and more about like social media content creation. And so I started to branch into making YouTube videos, editing podcasts, doing Instagram content creation. And at the same time, my YouTube channel really started to grow where I was sharing tips and tricks about the exact same stuff. And that's really where my agency came in. So I ended up having more clients than I could handle as just an individual. So I started hiring people and now I have a team that works on all this stuff together. At the same time as I was growing my agency I was also growing my content creator business simultaneously so starting to do brand deals, bringing in the affiliate marketing piece, and of course getting AdSense from YouTube. These are all things that I incorporated slowly over time. It's not like I sat down one day and was like, okay, I've got to get X amount of brand deals and this much in AdSense and I'm going to do it all right now so that I can work from the road. This was a very organic evolution over time where eventually I got to the point where I was running a business and I was a content creator and I was doing it from you know, my house where I lived and working with some local clients. And then the local client stuff kind of got cut off in March of 2020 for obvious reasons. And since then everything just became fully remote, which in the past number of months has meant I'm finally able to set out on the road and kind of follow this dream of being a digital nomad. So you don't need to have that all figured out from day one. There are a lot of small steps that you can take to get there eventually over time. So let's talk a little more about what my typical workday looks like and how I manage that from the van. My days usually include some meetings either with team members or with potential clients or existing clients. They include some content creation and some general admin and creative work. The biggest challenge working from this van, honestly, it's the same challenge that I had working from a 500 square foot apartment and it's coordinating schedules with this guy. Since Dan and I both work out of the space and we both have jobs that require a lot of talking, his more so with meetings and mine more so with this kind of thing, making videos, we need to coordinate our schedules to make sure that we're not both talking at the same time in the van, because if so, it would sound like this. So we're we could do at a Thursday. Whole Instagram strategy. So at the beginning of each week, we sit down and compare our calendars and then we kind of coordinate to make sure that when he's in meetings, I'll just be doing quiet work, usually wearing my noise canceling headphones. And when I'm trying to film a video, like right now, he will go work at a picnic table or go for a walk if he can or whatever. So truly the key to being able to work in such a small space with another person is coordinating your schedules. And of course, noise canceling headphones, super important. A lot of people have been asking on my stories how I stay focused on my work when I'm in so many different beautiful locations, like parked right next to the beach, for instance. And the answer is having a really, really strict schedule. This has been something that I've stuck to as a content creator and business owner for many years now, which I know is not that typical. A lot of people who are YouTubers or entrepreneurs or whatever love the fact that they can have whatever schedule they want and work totally unrestricted hours. But I have always tried to keep my work strictly in between nine and five. This is really aided by Dan having a traditional job where he does have to work nine to five and he's got meetings within that time frame, and like that's when he needs to work. Work. And because he's my travel buddy, I just make sure that I'm working at the same time as him. And then we go out and we have adventures on the evenings and weekends. I think when you have so much flexibility, for instance, flexibility with your location, then you need to start to add in other boundaries in your life. Like 
less flexibility in say your schedule, like say making yourself work nine to five in order to stay productive. I think if you have just 100% complete flexibility, then it's hard to you know get into routines and make sure you're getting your stuff done. So even though we are kind of wherever we wanna be, we try to be working during certain hours and not working during others. So what can you do if you also wanna try out being a digital nomad, whether that means working out of a van or an RV or just city hopping and trying out different short-term rentals? There's a number of different options that you can look into that basically give you that location flexibility, but no matter which of these you might try that I would suggest, I want to recommend that whatever you start doing, you start it at home and you get yourself into a solid routine of doing it at home for you know several months just to make sure you're feeling good about being able to do this job to the best of your ability. You've got some confidence with it so then you don't just end up setting out and you're in a new setting and a new environment a new routine and you're trying to start a new job i think that would be really overwhelming so i would recommend when you're thinking that you might want to try a nomadic lifestyle in the future get one of these types of income streams into place and then set out once you feel confident about it Dan and I had been working from home for two years before we set out on this van trip. And so we know very well how we can get our work done on time, stay on task when not in an office environment. So I think that's really helpful if you want to be successful with these. Okay, so let's jump into the list. You can start a freelancing gig that is location independent. This is most similar to what I do. It's like, you know, starting a business, but I started out as a freelancer as well. And you just wanna make sure that whatever type of work you're undertaking, it's the kind of thing that you can be anywhere for. Because when I started out as a freelancer, I was a freelance videographer. So I would go and like make promotional videos for local businesses and you gotta be there in person in order to film a video. So choosing something maybe like graphic design or web design or writing or even being a photo or video editor those kind of things obviously you can do from anywhere as long as you have a strong internet connection so another option is just to get a job working remotely there's so many companies these days that are remote first if you just google list of remote first blank industry companies so like tech companies for instance you'll find lists and different blog posts from all different websites of places that you can start applying to Honestly, I don't have a lot of advice in this strain because I don't have a very traditional career, so I don't really know. I can't give you advice about how to get a regular job, but I know that there are location independent jobs. You could also try online gig working. Like I mentioned, being an English shooter for Cambly, for instance, is a really great option. If you get creative, there are so many ways to earn a living that don't require you going into a specific job. And I feel like the last couple of years have definitely shown us that, that you truly can work from anywhere. And so why not make that anywhere from the road? I would also recommend maybe trying this out in the short term and seeing if you like it. Don't dive into a really expensive and high commitment van conversion like this if you don't already know that you love camping and traveling and that you can work from a small space with your partner, for example. These are all good things to try out and make sure that you feel good about them before you dive in to a long-term commitment. And then finally, just make a plan and dive in and go for it. It can seem impossible. It can seem like just this huge, big dream and how would you ever make it happen? But if you put your mind to it and you're intentional about giving yourself planning time, like create spreadsheets, make a timeline for yourself and then just execute on it. All right, y'all, let me know if this video was helpful for you and if you're at all interested in becoming a digital nomad or trying out van life, let me know in the comments because obviously I'd love to know because if you're also into van life, like we're already besties. And I'd love to make more videos like this if they're helpful for you. So let me know in the comments. Thanks again to Cambly for sponsoring this video. Remember to check out that link to apply to become an English tutor with them in the description below. And as always, I hope that you're having adventures and following your dreams and I will see you in the next one. Bye.